Well, now that we've created our first navigational element here, the sidebar number one, right next to it, we're going to define our content area. And that's going to be the larger area that's going to contain most of our type um, and text. But, you know, we'll have room for text in all of these. However, this is going to be the main area. So under the insert div tag, I'm going to click on it. And we're going to come in here and let's just call it content. And we'll define a new CSS rule as well. So here's content in the external style sheet. Clicking OK. And at this point, what we're really defining is we don't have to define anything for positioning. And if we go to box, we're not floating this left or right because the other two columns are going to be floating left and right. All we got to do here is define the width area that we want it to be. So I want it to be 600 pixels. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing. We're not really dealing with padding or anything else along those lines. That'll all come later. But first, all we're really defining at this moment in time is how to get the skeleton and the architecture of our layout laid out exactly the way we want it to be. So you can give it a background color if you wish. I'll just give it white for the moment. And as you'll see, um, its content should be with a white background once we preview it inside of our work. So other than that, I'm not really doing anything else inside of this particular area. So we'll just click OK. And we will insert it at that point that we defined earlier. So if you'll notice, here is the content area. And when we come in here and see what it looks like, it's being pushed to the area that it needs to be pushed against. And that should be fine for us. Before we leave, let's come in here and preview this in Safari. And what you can see is it's stretched out. It works as much as we need it to be. And as you can see, we've got the left content on this side. And we're now going to be able to create the right content on the other side. And just to reiterate, all we really did with this was to go through to the width of 600 and we gave it a background color. That's really all. So let's clean up a couple of things inside of our code. And I can do that just by you know, putting things underneath each other like this. And like we've been doing with all the other ones, we'll add a little comment in here that says ends or end pound symbol content. And the pound symbol represents the ID content. So now we've got that in place. When we come back in the next video, we'll start cleaning things up a little bit more by adding our our uh, third column and then finally by adding our footer.